Hey guys, I'm Satorio Phil. Welcome back to my channel. This is a special video and it's going to premiere on Christmas 2018, which is when you'll probably be able to watch this. The funny thing with this video is that the smallest box up there on the top right is really the grand reveal and that's what I will be unboxing at the end. And then I'll have a follow-up movie later on with more details. But this video is more or less a quick unboxing of what I got during the holidays at Tiffany. And if you've been following my channel, you'll know that I've been a pretty regular customer of theirs from the last couple of years especially. And I've been to a few events that they hosted as well. I'm very grateful that they also provided me with some gifts for this holiday season. So just to quickly start off is a card. And it has the signature design from this season's holidays so it's like the spray paint in the fuchsia pink and this is in a cutout in like a stencil so it's a really cool card and they have the robot theme this year as well as this metal like I forget if they call it like a drawers tool or mannequin I actually used to have one in wood I'm going to start with the second to smallest box first. I did kind of already unbox some of these already, but I just reboxed it for this video. So this is a holly ornament. And this exact one, they don't, re they don't sell. This is the ornament. It's in crystal glass made in Slovenia, which is actually a lot of where crystal is made in. And the camera might not pick it up, but it is. There is a slight tint of the Tiffany blue on this glass or on this crystal. And it says Tiffany and Company 2018, and it has the holly design etched into the crystal. So if you look on Tiffany.com, they don't actually sell this specific design. So this design is exclusive, I think, as gifts that they give to their clients. So it's definitely a really well-made ornament. There are no visible marks where you can see where it was molded. And then it has the Tiffany blue satin ribbon on top. And... On the back, it has a little bit more information on it. So this is a limited edition piece. This is box number two. And as you can see, this is a writing set. Here's a little bit more information on it. So this box, if you saw my Patek video, also has the flap down here to open. And then you can kind of see there's raised lettering here, which is the Tiffany New York emblem. And this box actually opens like this. And in this writing set, I think they said there are 10 note cards and 10 envelopes. So they all have the Tiffany raised lettering here. It's going to be a little hard to see on the camera. And then there are the note cards on here. So these are just blank note cards and they have the Tiffany blue on the reverse side. And then it comes with four pencils that each have the Tiffany and company stamping on the side. So this is just a really cool box and there's actually like a keyhole design indentation here as well. This is the third item, but it actually comes with another piece that's out of frame. And if I show you that, you'll pretty much know what this is. So let me unbox this one first. So this is their champagne flute set. And on the back, it has a description with it as well. So 
So this is also crystal and it has a gold rim. And it's also made in Slovenia on the bottom there in the sticker. So it comes in a pair, which is usually what all champagne flutes come in. It's usually a pair. And the other item is a bottle of champagne. And this is the champagne that Tiffany serves. I always keep forgetting how to pronounce it. I think it's like Verve Clicquot. So I keep forgetting if you pronounce the second V, but it's in the very signature yellow orange box. And this is kind of meant to enjoy with the, it's like a celebration of the piece that's going to be the next unboxing. So it's kind of like a celebratory gift. So this is the grand reveal. This is the final piece and this is the piece that I purchased. It's a really special piece and in the tradition of my what I would call unique or exceptional unboxings I have on my black jewelry gloves. So it comes in a velvet box like this which I think Again, if you've been following my channel, this box will be, will look familiar. So, are you ready to see what this item is? So this is another Schlumberger piece. This is the koi fish. It's another brooch or pin. This has been dubbed the Royal Koi because unlike the other designs, it has what looks like a crown, so it has diamonds in three of the fins or designs on top, which makes it look like a crown. And it also has three rows of diamonds near the tail as well. So the koi design has been around for quite a while. I think there are some designs ranging back to the 60s. But I think it seems in my research that it was only lately there's been maybe one or two other pieces that i've seen that actually has the diamonds on the crown like this and on the tail the other ones are usually just all completely in gold and then you have the gems in the body like this and the designs on the other ones have slight differences as well and the body here is i'm waiting to get the valuation letter letter which details exactly which gems are used and also the carat weight but basically most of this body is I think spinel so like the the kind of lavender color are spinels and then the green this like tail green color and then there's some like pink are tourmalines and then the eyes are pink tourmalines as well so I think the eye and you can see there's one stone there are tourmalines as well as the two green and then there, I think there's a couple of other slightly different color pieces as well. And then most of the body is in 18 karat yellow gold. But for the diamond pieces, those are in platinum. So the crown near the tail and actually the mouth has some small diamonds as well. And they're set in platinum as well. And then so that's the mouth. So this one has the other pin system where when you push it down, you're able to fold out the pins like this so that you can put it on wherever you want to wear it and for me i'm going to be wearing it on a blazer just like my other schlumberger piece the bird on a rock and you can see on the back i think i explained it with the bird on the rock the finish on this is pretty incredible because they polish every part of it not just the parts that you usually see in the front but they part they polish all of the insides as well as if it was going to be shown on the outside. This piece is actually made in France. So it might be a little hard to see the writing there, but it says Tiffany and Company Schlumberger Gold 750, which is 18 karat gold, France, and I think it has a serial number on the bottom. So this is the piece and I'm definitely going to have a follow-up video where I use my macro lens 
to give you a lot more close-up details and I'll wear it so you can see what it looks like on on a blazer in, def in different positions because I think this can be worn kind of sideways like this upward downward as well and then I'll probably compare it with my bird on a rock as well which is my other brooch and I'll probably do that when the valuation letter comes in so I can show you more of the the deep the specifications on this as well as how much I paid for this and this is pretty expensive it's a lot more than the bird on a rock even though it's pretty much the same size and the bird on a rock has a huge citrine in the middle whereas this one has just smaller stones but the price difference is quite immense however this is really such a special piece to my knowledge this is the first one that's made with this type of stone configuration and they likely might not make another one exactly like this because it really depends what kind of gemstones that they've matched that they have available and that's the thing with these schlumberger pieces the designs really depend on what material they have. And honestly, when I looked at the Koi pieces, I never really saw two of the same. They have ones made with emeralds and rubies, but they don't have the diamonds. And then they have ones that are made of cabochon style gems, so they're polished and they're larger and rounder. But I definitely prefer the brilliance of these polished cut stones as opposed to the polished cabochon ones. And it's kind of hard the camera, depending on the camera here to pick up the color, but the lavender is quite amazing. And I hope I can get that in my more detailed video when I play around with the lighting and exposure a little bit more so you can really appreciate the brilliance of the gemstones set on the gold and the platinum. And much like the bird on the rock, my local store will provide a presentation box for this. And that's not something they have to do at all. So I'm definitely really grateful that they're able and willing to do that for me. Just like my last video, I think I mentioned though, some feedback for Tiffany headquarters is that for a piece like this, I really wish just I wish that by default they had a more special or unique box because they use this box, this same style box, whether it's a piece, Schlumberger piece like this or even probably like a couple thousand dollar um, bracelet or five thousand dollar bracelet, they still use the same exact box. And I can tell you that this is definitely more than 5,000 and it was a lot more than the bird on the rock. And I'll link that video in this description too. If you wanna check that out in the meantime, if this is your first time watching my jewelry pieces, I think you'll be interested in the bird on the rock as well. I also have the 18 stone ring or the 16 stone, but in the size that I got it, they had to add an extra two stones. That's also a very classic Slumberger piece. So thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos, check me out on Instagram for the latest updates and exclusive content. I will definitely be posting more modeling shots, especially as I wear this out. I'll definitely have more pictures on Instagram. I think there you can really get a feel for how it looks like being worn. And I try to do a little bit more editorial shots on Instagram as well. So hope to see you there. And I hope to see you in my next video.